A warm welcome to all our viewers to our series Natural Medicine. There was a gentleman here recently who told us all about Kleinscher fields. These are alternating magnet fields that have incredible influences on the body. And today he's back because I still have a thousand questions. Welcome, dear Bernard Klein. Thank you for being here. I'm happy to be here. You actually rediscovered this technology, one might say. It's actually a copy of nature that you have perfected through these alternating fields. And they have an effect on the body and increase blood circulation. So the whole blood is enriched with oxygen. And the energy is supplied back to the fingertips, the little toes. Can you say it like this? I would put it differently. I make sure that 100% of the oxygen in the lungs can be picked up again. So, if I want to go into all the capillaries in the lungs in order to collect the oxygen with the red blood cells, the red blood cells need to be separate. And when they're stuck together, the, from stress, from poor nutrition, from environmental pollution, from electric smog, whatever. This is the famous Rouleau formation that we see very often today. This aggregation. I dissolve it and make sure that 100% of the oxygen can be collected. Then, of course, it can also get into the capillaries afterwards. In other words, the cell actually does the rest by itself. I make sure that everything gets there. And everything that the cell produces of metabolic end products or poisons is collected. When a person is exposed to electromagnetic radiation from electric smog, which is very, very often the cause of this Rouleau formation, if at the same time they sit on a chair with this alternating field magnetism, does that then compensate for this Rouleau formation? Yeah. Are they stronger? The moment they sit on it is a physical process. When the blood flows over these fields, it has to pass through alternating poles, through the North Pole, South Pole, North Pole, no matter which direction, because we have different pole orientation, different areas, strengths and such. So due to the constantly changing poles in all directions, with changing field strengths, changing areas and directions, we achieve that the blood becomes more flowable and can get into the narrow capillaries, and the cells in the capillaries are optimally supplied again. Then the cell can heal itself much better. Completely logical, yeah. I'd like to go into a study that you did with Miss Professor Koenig, Brigitte Koenig. And now, dear viewers, I'd like to show you a picture from Miss Brigitte Koenig and quickly read it aloud. Miss Koenig is a professor at the University Clinic in Leipzig, at the Institute for Medical Microbiology and Infection Epidemiology. I should also talk to her about Corona, mm -hmm. and belongs to the chair as an external professor of the medical faculty of the Otto von Guericke University in Magdeburg. She's also said the head of the special laboratory in Magdeburg, which deals with mutated DNA. So, and this Miss Professor Koenig, who in my opinion is recognized worldwide in the field of mitochondrial energy production, she did a study on these Kleinscher fields. So, now, tell me, the results were more than sensational. She first discovered in the laboratory that when she put blood in a test tube, the blood cells reacted within 24 hours, with up to 300% more energy production, 20% more enzyme activity, and this made her so curious that she wanted to know how it would affect diseases. So she put together patients with various diseases, but across the board, from high blood pressure to wound healing disorders, from nerve damage to sleep disorders, from varicose veins, so all across the board, and there were positive results in all areas. So they were so sensational. I knew this before. However, the results were even better than I expected. So the basis has been laid so that it can finally really spread worldwide. But let's look at this. I have the first study here. And I'd like to ask you to explain it to our viewers. What, what do we see here? So, here, Miss Professor Koenig did a laboratory test in a test tube. And here we see, on average, 20% more enzyme activities, mitochondrial enzyme activities. What does mitochondrial enzyme activity mean? Well, enzymes are essential for all metabolic processes. So, the production is increased here. Okay. 
Okay, 20% more enzymes are produced in the cell, in the mitochondria, in the mitochondria, in the power plants of the cell. They are the power plants that provide the cell with energy so that the cell can do anything at all. So it can't look here or digest, no matter what task it has, it needs energy molecules, adenosine triphosphate, so ATP. And the more it produces, the more efficient it is. So we're talking about the same thing, enzyme activity is called ATP. No, we can see that in the next diagram. There she measured that. So she then basically uh, put pollutants into the test tube and has found, to put it simply, with 2%, 4%, 10%, the more she put in, the cells where the fields weren't underneath were immediately broken. And the cells where the Kleinsche fields were underneath produced more energy molecules and have defended themselves longer. So she said that the cells become more efficient against stressors, so against environmental pollution. They last longer. But 300%? Yeah. I've never heard a number that high just by doing nothing just by lying on a field. And then increasing the body's own ATP production so much is unbelievable. We all know that every disease, every inflammation and every pain actually comes from a lack of energy. The body has too little energy to heal itself. It's also often said that disease comes from an over-acidic milieu where there's a deficiency of electrons. Now the ATP production increases by 300% and that while we're sleeping. That was now in vitro. In vivo, let's take a look at it when we go to in vivo. So, all patients had slept on the fields for 84 days. Blood was drawn beforehand and again afterwards. And it could be de determined that the energy production of ATP went from previously 70.23% to 99.58%, so almost 100% for everyone. If 30% were missing, it was filled up. If 50% were missing, it was filled up. If 10%, it was filled up. So we achieved almost 100% in all patients, which is sensational in itself. And when we look on the other side, we see the mitochondria, so the power plants. And that means that all patients built more power plants in the cells than we had before during these 84 days. New power plants, yeah, new mitochondria, eight times more new synthesis of mitochondria. On, uh, so here we see from 3.7 to 13.74. So an average eight times more mitochondria formation in the cells. That's actually the big miracle too. I mean, I have new power plants that are healthy and produce ATP. And all of this only through these alternating fields. Yeah, no, not through alternating fields, through the oxygen and the nutrients that arrive 100% again. Yeah, sure. Actually, one through good nutrition for the cell, through good collection of metabolic end products. Through good, what do I call it, loads that cause stress. The cell can better defend itself against environmental pollution of any kind. It's more efficient. So it can cope with the healing processes much better now too. Yes, of course, of course. What else did Ms. Koenig say when she saw these results? Well, she said she did an interview, which you can find on YouTube. Also under Kleinscherfields. It's on YouTube under Kleinscherfields, Healing in Sleep. What do the Kleinscherfields do in the organism and what effects do they have on health? We have found that the Kleinsche magnetic fields address the mitochondria. Mitochondria are, so to speak, our cells' power plants, and nothing works without them. Kleinsche magnetic fields have a positive effect on them, and thus one can imagine that they can improve a variety of diseases, or even prevent them, because the mitochondria are responsible for many diseases. On which clinical pictures do the Kleinsche fields have a positive influence? We now also know in academic medicine, or from high-ranking scientific publications, that the mitochondria, when not working, are responsible for a variety of diseases. That also includes Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, cardiovascular diseases, atherosclerosis, circulatory disorders, diabetes, mellitus, migraines and other diseases of our civilized society. And since the Kleinsche fields have a really positive effect on the mitochondria, they also have a positive influence on all of these diseases. Do the Kleinsche fields help against pain? Pain can certainly have many different causes. We have success or experience with polyneuropathy, for example, after chemotherapy, and there they really help that this polyneuropathy 
really disappears completely or is reduced to a minimum. This is certainly due to the effect of improved blood circulation of these Kleinschirm magnetic fields. Intense. Has that study by Professor Koenig already spread in the medical community? Has it been published in a journal somewhere? It's unbelievable, these results. You can already find summaries of them on the internet if you enter Kleinscher fields as a search term. You'll find a summary of it. But you can also request it. So I'm really careful with statements. In Germany, I prefer to let the professors and doctors and clinics do it. Virtually nothing comes from me. Yeah, I understand in Germany it is very hard with such statements, especially when we talk about magnetic fields. That shouldn't have any effect at all, but you've proven it. For most, it is esoteric or whatever. In any case, everything that I can't see, smell, taste or touch simply doesn't exist for some. There is still more. She did another study on the mutated my mitochondria. She also examined that in this pilot study. Then we have a table here. What do we see here? The patients who previously, well, mutated DNA, DNA or defective DNA in a cell cause a lot of diseases, among other things, Alzheimer's and other diseases. And here we can see that the same cell, regardless of cell division, she found out it rebuilds the defective or mutated DNA and creates healthy new ones. That's the real sensation. And the patients who didn't have any before didn't have any afterwards either. And the patients who had them had a drastic decline. That means here you can see where there was nothing before, the grey was the mutated DNA, the green one is after 84 days. On the far right we can see that with the patient BK there were none at all. Patient RB, seen here in the middle, had the most of all patients and still claimed that nothing happened to him. Because he doesn't feel it, it doesn't hurt. But it is drastic. If I read it like that and see it like that, it means nothing else than a seriously ill patient, let's say they have cancer, where mutated cells are already there, according to this study, theoretically, as it's shown there, would actually get a significant improvement. Well, for me, that means, first of all, that they might not get cancer at all, because if the mutated DNA regresses before it happens, it would, of course, make more sense than trying to treat it. Perfect, exactly. But the question actually was about the treatment, because the people who are already affected now could actually get support from the Kleinscher fields and actually have similar results as here, in this study with mutated mitochondria. We'd have to really prove that through an evidence-based study to be able to make such a statement. But yes, the assumption is obvious, of course. The assumption is obvious, but we're not allowed to say it. I understand that too. But this study by Professor Koenig shows, shows that, doesn't it? What I'm trying to summarize now, in my personal opinion, which I'm allowed to say, yes. That's nice. And only with magnetic fields. I wouldn't say only it's magnetic fields. A normal magnet from the fridge, if you take it, nothing will happen except it'll make a bruise. Of course, if you arrange the fields in such a way that they generate a signal, when electrically conductive liquids go over it, so it really depends if the pole distances are too far apart between plus and minus, so north and south, then the field collapses and it won't work. If the pole spacing is too small, it won't go deep enough into the body to reach anything. That means you need a very special signal to do that. So you really have to keep the pole distances, and not uniformly, but they have to have different distances, different orientations, different areas, different strengths. So it is very complex. That, that arose over decades through trial and error. So I've always tried to find out, now it doesn't work, oh, look here, now it works. I oriented myself according to the practical results, not according to theoretical knowledge, because theory and practice often differ. I'm more of a practitioner. When I see a wound closing and it keeps closing, then I know it seems to be working. And if a bruise goes away in a day, that, that would otherwise take weeks, then I know it's working. And if I repeat that and it works over and over again, then I know the cup of coffee will fall on the floor and will not fly to the ceiling. Even if I've never seen an evidence-based study of coffee cups that go up to the ceiling. I can make the claim that it has never hit the ceiling. Regardless of the evidence. Okay. So bruises disappear faster, wound healing occurs faster. Those were my results. That's what I observed. That's it. You have, of course, already seen a lot of effects through increased blood circulation 
population. What kind of effects are these that you were told about by users? Well, I now have a whole folder with letters of thanks that go through all diseases, that with rheumatic inflammations, they heal better due to the better flowability. As a result, they need less medication. And notice that relatively quickly. It actually goes into all disease areas. There's not a single cell, from the bone cell to the skin cell, to the intestinal cell, to the optic nerve cell, that doesn't have to perform its service through supply and disposal. If I improve that in all cells by making the blood efficient, there's not a single drug for this, not even nutritional supplements. On the contrary, those fail if they don't arrive. I'll make sure that the doctor's therapy finally works. If it didn't work before, that the body's enabled, that this is my personal experience. Oxygen supply is there, and these fields are always differing in strength and in different directions. So actually the oxygen and the blood, actually a signal is generated and the signal ensures that the brain reacts, which we can now also measure with the 128 channel EEG. The areas of motor skills are addressed, the areas of concentration are addressed, which, of course, also has an impact on other areas. There's another study you did about increasing concentration. It is almost finalized. Yes, and the results in advance, they're just phenomenal. Joy. Just joy, because the results are so good. That motorcycle seat manufacturers are already installing the first foils into motorcycle seats to reduce driving errors and increase concentration, and at the same time shorter braking distances because of faster reactions. So at work, at school, in everyday life, in sports. Wherever concentration and reaction are important, it will be a topic. So that's what we can expect. I'd like to get back to this study by Miss Professor Koenig. I wonder, I mean, that was done by a university. It was made by the most prestigious lady you can imagine in mitochondrial research. To what extent does a university with such a study now have an influence that the world will actually change a little from tomorrow? I don't think very much. Indeed. Because who reads through university studies, as long as it's not officially advertised or made public? And as long as you find out today, let's say, that a cystus plant in cases of virus, which the virology in Munster, I think it was, has proven for the bird flu virus, and as long as that is not made public, nobody knows that the cystus plant can do that at all. You can either, let's say, sell the plant, but then you can't explain what it can do, or you can explain what it can do, but then you can no longer sell it. That is German law. Otherwise, it's a drug. Exactly. If it has an effect, it's a drug. If it doesn't work, it's no use. Yeah, I'm also allowed to publish letters of thanks if they make it seem like it's working, but I'm not allowed to publish any letters that give the impression that it works. But now you still have this incredible study done by this lady. That means all of our doctors they actually have almost no chance of getting to this study to get these results, to find out, wow, I can do something about that. They can email me, they then send it to them complete. Yeah, but now they have to watch our show and actually the interview with you to find out about it. Otherwise, they would have no chance of finding out about it. Not at the moment. Well, there's always, there always has to be a big sponsor somewhere who says, I'll get it out there now and sponsor congresses and make it the big topic for a few years. And then we all have it too. Yeah. And of course, that's only possible in a few circles to tap these financial opportunities in terms of advertising potential. Of course, the pharmacy industry does that, of course, with the drugs they have. It's explained in great detail why all this, I also understand. But here we actually need, well, who should advertise this if not you? I'd like to leave that to others. I prefer to do the studies and leave the results, and then the companies that build ski boots, for example, can advertise that you not only have warmer feet with a ski boot, thanks to the good blood circulation, but also improve reaction and concentration. If they then find out in retrospect that they can even walk pain-free, because there's already a double-blind study on this from 2003, that people with diabetic neuropathy can walk with much less pain with alternating polar fields in the shoes. So that's double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled, gold standard. Even so, most orthopedic dealers don't know it yet. 
So, at the moment, my insoles, which I'm currently developing, we deliver the raw materials to manufacturers, which are also supplying the industry already, until the last orthopedic shoemaker finds out that they're in there and what they can do. That will take a long time. Although they're already in the industry, they can't advertise either. Not even now with this study. No. It's crazy. Yeah. You're not allowed to say anything, but you know a lot and you have effects that would be good for everyone and not allowed to say it. Just think about how many foot diseases we have. Heel spurs, Achilles tendon, all polyneuropathies in the feet. We'd have to do our own evidence-based studies on all diseases to be able to say that this is also possible for that, for that, for that. And each one costs millions, doesn't it? Yeah, I'd only say when there are foot diseases, the cheapest way is always to rely on your own self-healing and make sure that the foot cells get everything they need for, for this healing. That's the best way that is free from harmful side effects. The health insurance won't finance it. I was asked again and again. I've already tried it politically. That was blown off with sentences that I would rather not repeat here. That means, yes, here, every patient will depend on themselves. The problem is the cost, because the orthopaedic shoemaker has to put them all in by hand. So there are hundreds of pole changes built by hand. It's an enormous expense, so that it almost costs 150 euros per foot. So almost 300 for both feet. But please, I mean, I know people who have spent a fortune and are still at the beginning of their health discovery. Well, I used to say, what use are expensive shoes when you can't walk? But that's another topic. Some people might not spend the money and then walk in pain every day. So there are options here. It's always worth a try since there are no harmful side effects. Is there a platform somewhere where I can read through all of these studies or that I can help to spread this? Well, I set up medizinwissenonline.de where you can get weekly information as a live lecture where I also answer questions where I always present the latest results when we complete a study. There's now one about to be finished by a university. Unfortunately, it was delayed a bit due to corona. But it will come to an end soon. So I can also briefly describe my own issue personally and say, I have this and that problem, can the client fields help me? And you will reply with your experience in this webinar. Yeah, the questions will be answered live at medizinwissenonline.de. And there's also new information every week, when the next live lecture will take place, where you can also ask me questions personally and get an answer immediately. Is there a possibility somehow to read this study by Professor Koenig with these impressive results that we were able to show today? Yeah, on the internet, when you enter Kleinger fields in search engines, then there are some portals that have published it. I believe also a journalist portal, uh, bundesjournal.de, has made studies available for download. That can be accessed there. So you can find everything if you look on a search engine, enter Kleinscherfields and enter studies, or maybe Miss Professor Koenig as well, then you get to these results. I've set up my own website on kleinscherfelder.de, but we don't have that much information on it. Because it's German law, it's like this, of course, you have to hold back. We can either make a page with information only, but then we're not allowed to show a single foil or anything. Or we're allowed to depict the foils, but no longer say what they can do. Yeah, I know that too. It's the same in Switzerland. Great. So, dear Bernard, I think it's unbelievably great what you've achieved. And I just want to say thank you very much and also congratulate you. I think it will be a blessing for all of us, for all of humanity, if we can take preventative measures here with these Kleinscher fields. Simply, these interactions and that our whole body is supplied again with blood down to the smallest veins and is also supplied with oxygen. By the way, there are no longer cold feet in bed, right? So when the blood flows, the blood has 36, 37 degrees Celsius. If that gets into the surface of the skin, into the connective tissue, the foot's warm. It's only cold if it doesn't get into the connective tissue. I'm always amazed when doctors tell someone that they have good blood circulation and at the same time their feet are cold. If they had good blood circulation, but the doctor can't see the capillaries like this, because they're ten thousandth of a millimetre thin, they're, they're thinner than a hair. If there isn't enough blood going in there, the foot's cold. Of course, heat's generated by the higher blood flow, that's normal. 
This is a big problem for many people with cold feet, cold hands and so on. Then I'd put the soles in the sock even at night and put the sock on the foot. Because they can't improve blood circulation in the shoe closet and cell regeneration is particularly high at night. And it's not enough on the mattress topper alone. Yeah, that's enough. The heel's on there. But I would combine it. My father, he has polyneuropathy. He said it was like stinging nettles when he walked, and it took him four months to walk again without nettles. But at night, he put the soles in the sock and wore it on the foot while sleeping. It's unbelievable what I was able to learn again. And it's a blessing anyway. There was a journalist from Germany, a very well-known journalist, former editor-in-chief, I think of the Bilt newspaper. He came to me and said, I have to deal with these fields. And now you sit there and tell these stories about these studies. And hardly anyone knows that. And I'd like to thank you very much that I, as QS24, am able to present such valuable information to our viewers. Again, all the best, also for the future. Dear viewers, as you've heard, Kleinscher Fields seem to have a completely different medical focus here. Certainly in prevention, our body is better supplied with blood. We get the nutrients, the oxygen, everywhere it belongs. No more cold feet. For me, a totally convincing technology. And I'm also grateful that I was able to present this to you. So thank you very much for watching, for sharing this episode. That seems to be important enough to me. And I wish you all the best. See you next time.